my name is Wilkins, I work for Delphi and uh, today is an exciting day that we want to uh, showcase uh, different technologies. Uh, we've invited a number of farmers uh, to come and see the different technologies that we have around. Our main business as uh, Delphi uh, is to train and of course uh, do knowledge transfer and knowledge implementation and uh, in the efforts of achieving that we want to show the farmers what is possible in uh, tomato production by showing them the best technologies and the best structures to use and the best way of growing tomatoes in greenhouse. So uh, feel welcome. During the day you'll see various technologies, various crops, uh, various crops and uh, various uh, varieties that have been growing in various, uh, using various technologies that is in soil and uh, substrate. And feel free to interact with us. We are always available as Delphi to support you and see you through the journey of uh, making money through protected, protected agriculture. Tomatoes grow, you need again to, to again remove them there and then take them to, to a larger a larger pot because they they're they big in size. So there, there, there'll be competition for, for light and for everything and for space. So that's why we prefer that it's better we do it once, put it in this in, in, in this pot, then we we let them grow. Instead of uh, uh, doing them in the trays and then uh, picking out, bringing them here. That, that's what we try to, to avoid. Okay, good morning. Uh, I'm Joshua. Working with Delphi, I'm in charge of uh, greenhouse A. Uh, we have three types of greenhouses. This is the first one, the second one is there, and the other one is down there. Now, before we get in, uh, I just want us to go through. Planted uh, as a, a sowing date on the uh, 20th February 2018. Transplanting date was on uh, 27th March uh, 2018. Now the spacing is 40 to 60. From plant to plant is uh, 40 centimeter, as you can see. In this greenhouse, everything we do manually. Uh, you have to do soil analysis before you just apply your uh, fertilizer it is very important that you do uh, soil analysis so that you get what is present in your soil and what is not there for our case i simply come and uh, make a far along this pipe after that i will apply uh, my fertilizer how do i tell that this plant needs water that is of course difficult on the on the other hand uh, if a plant is thirsty you see that he start flagging mm -hmm. but then you are too late so I like to see, of course, I like to see my plant healthy and stretched, especially in the morning, nice and stretched. And of course, you have to see in your soil. Sometimes you have to take a small shovel, weekly basis at least, or or a tensiometer. Some people are using a tensiometer. Techniques are, are sometimes not available. Just use your shovel and see. We call it Tito Sun. Now, when you look at this thing clearly, uh, there's a pheromone inside here. Now this pheromone, uh, it acts as a, a, a female tutor absoluta. You see, so we are trying to catch the, the male ones. So there is not a pheromone to attract ladies, and that is a difficulty. So you catch all the men, but as soon as men can come in into your greenhouse, you have still an issue because you will have repopulation uh, or, or, or uh, fertile, uh, fertile eggs again. When you are pollinating, you have to pollinate at a given uh, humidity. Now, that climate sensor, it helps us to know uh, uh, the humidity inside this greenhouse. We go 
for our pump house down there we go and check the humidity so when it is around uh, 69 to 79 we pollinate, pollinate but you are not encouraged to pollinate when it, humidity is too high because it will not take place so at least from 69 degrees to uh, 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 79 what i will come and do for this case i will just come and shake them like this so you can see that's how we pollinate we don't have bees inside here Spacing is the same, 4 by 60, from plant to another, is 4 but rot rot 60 cm. It's the same area to the first minus 500 meters square. Population is the same, but due to, due to we plant the 1260, but we realize some plants are dried up before we get harvest, so we decide to make extra side shoot to compensate the lost one. Like here, easy, think here to, okay? Due to, here, between here and here, we have one gap, which means before we come to harvest all the entire crop, two of them are dried up. What you can do, just to, you train extra side shoot to compensate the lost one. How many controls you put in your set points, your times, you say it so many times a day, and it will just bring the EC and the, and the pH right down on the, on the EC, sorry, and bring it to the greenhouse with an electric valve. So you don't have to do anything manually except controlling, like Joshua explains, except controlling how much irrigation do I like to give today. Green business is the way to go and especially when uh, people get involved in agriculture you find that uh, we make much more than when you do the normal kind of farming and uh, with the greenhouse business I think it uh, gives a lot of returns and a lot of profit as opposed to this uh, normal kind of farming If you are outside there and you are a grower who wants to start uh, this journey of making money in greenhouse farming, you can reach us uh, via our website www.delphi.nl.